Welcome back to Western New York Living. Now, I'm sure everyone watching right now, at some point in your life at the dinner table, you heard these words spoken to you. Eat your vegetables. There's a good reason folks say that, and it starts with good overall health. And Donna Herberger has said it a time or two. She joins us now from the Ideal Weight Loss Center. Donna, good to see you. Good to see you, Kevin. You brought some veggies with you. It's important to eat vegetables uh, on your, your protocol. Why is that? Well, for, for the nutrition, um, it also helps you feel full. You're eating your good vegetables. It aids in digestion. So a lot of great reasons to eat your veggies. And on our program, we want people to eat two cups at lunch and two cups at their dinner with everything else that they're eating. So we brought some broccoli to show, Kevin. I actually, I love broccoli, by the it's way. It's great. It is good. Wonderful. You know who didn't like broccoli was the first George Bush, the, the father. Oh, anyway, yes, okay. Didn't like broccoli. I think it's great. So is this a cup? Or is this a cup? Mm, I'm gonna go with, well, it looks like more than a cup, but I'm gonna say it's a cup because of the stems. They're both a cup. Oh, so that's we, a trick question. Uh, we have a great chart. <laughs> now, if you weigh your broccoli, we know based on our chart that one cup of broccoli should equal 3.2 ounces. So if you're gonna eat two cups of broccoli, 6.4 ounces. But not every vegetable is the same. As you can see, uh, if you were to weigh asparagus 4.7 ounces but onions raw would be 5.6 ounces so it's important to weigh and then you know you're getting the correct amount you mentioned uh, like raw onions so you weigh before you cook correct great question because they shrink down and they would weigh less same with mushrooms you would always weigh prior to cooking are there certain uh, vegetables like do you have occasional vegetables there are there certain vegetables that you shouldn't eat uh, Sounds like a weird question. No, it's not. So eat your fruit and veggies, but you should not, when you're on the weight loss phase, no peas, no corn, no carrots. And then occasional vegetables would be things like green beans, wax beans, tomatoes, because they're high in natural sugar. There's, there's a, a specific list. All right, so, and there's a science to it. Obviously, that's why we're weighing the vegetables, because right. you don't want to overeat the vegetables. Correct. You actually could, because even though they're healthy, they still have calories. So we, you want... Not too little, not too much. You want just the right amount. All right, it's important to have the scale and the tools of that. Also important to have the know-how. You recently caught up with local garden expert Jackie Alborella to talk to folks about how to grow their own vegetables. And uh, let's take a look at that footage. All Things Ideal. Welcome to All Things Ideal. Today's segment is with local gardening expert Jackie Alborella. And she's going to tell us today all about herbs. You know, you can grow herbs in your house all year round. So there is no reason that you can't have fresh herbs for every single thing that you want to cook. Now here we've got a nice selection. We've got some basil, we've got thyme, there's some flat uh, Italian parsley, some rosemary. Find a nice container and put some herbs in there. And then this is great to put on a shelf in the kitchen sure. or on your kitchen counter, whatever. Sure. Herbs need light, but they don't need a ton of light. You only want to water them once a week. The biggest thing that kills their herbs is they overwater them. They kill them with kindness. Yes. So we're getting ready to cook dinner and we want some fresh basil. Okay. All we're going to do is you can break it off with your hands. All right. Or if you want to use a little scissors, you can cut it. Every herb will do better if you pinch it off every once in a while. Keep it pruned. You can grow them in water. Just take one of these basils that I just, make sure it's long enough, put it in the water. Now, I'm gonna trim this the same way, and okay. it's gonna grow back every week. In the summer, if you want to, you could move these outside. I was worried about putting it outside because animals might come and eat it. The animals tend to stay away from herbs because of their fragrance, because they smell, they tend to not like it. Okay. Get some herbs. You can have fresh herbs all year long in the house. You can move them outside. It makes a nice centerpiece on your picnic it's table. It's lovely and it smells great too. Thanks for joining us today on All Things Ideal. Join us again next time when we have more tips and gardening suggestions from Jackie Alparella. The herbs all are. All Things Ideal. Herbs are easy to grow and they add a lot of flavor to the dishes you cook at home when you, when you cook your dinner. They do, they do. And you can buy a packet of seeds for probably $2 and have enough herbs for a year. And as she said, pinch them back and keep growing that same plant. That's a great tip there and uh, cilantro is awesome. I saw that uh, yes. on the list there. All right, how do folks find out about their program, uh, the Ideal Weight Loss Center? Go to idealu.com. 
fill out a few questions on a health profile, get a doctor's permission note signed, and get started. All right, and eat your vegetables. All right, the <laughs> Ivy Weight Loss Center is your healthy rapid weight loss center and it can help you reach your weight loss goals and most importantly, maintain them once you do. They have three locations in our area and Donna suggests you can come for one of their upcoming virtual or in-person open houses. And to find out more about the program, head to the website at idealu.com or call 631-8446.